Yes, Pastor Kwashi and Sister Kwashi. Lord, encourage our hearts through your word today. And I pray, oh Heavenly Father, that as we continue to serve you, that you will bless their going out and bless their coming in. And Lord, we give you glory and honor. Bless every family that will watch this tape. Bless every home. And God, thank you for those who are here today. In Jesus' name, amen. Let's welcome Pastor Noah Christ. Good morning. And thank you, uh, Pastor Webster, uh, dear brother, faithful brother, Sammy. Uh, he treats us like kings, you know. Um, give us a good place to stay. Uh, give us a lot of food to eat. Uh, I wish I could do more than that when he comes to Ghana. That's okay. Uh, but uh, we, we, we really love this church, and uh, we praise God for your support, for your prayers. And we want you to come back again. We expect you. He's coming. God willing, we pray. Some of you come with him. God willing, in May next year. Uh, we have some pastoral trainings and other things that we want him to help us to do. But the messages, uh, the radio in Ghana, and uh, yeah. there's a lot of things happening. I have a nine minute uh, video that summarizes everything up to date. Uh, we'll probably will be presenting it later on uh, for you to see. But um, God has been good to us. Yes. And I've been telling him that the pandemic has brought a lot of things out. Mm -hmm. And uh, I want to make sure that I share a little bit of that with you because this is my heart, heart ache. Yeah. My heart is aching for Christians worldwide mm -hmm. and for the nations worldwide. And uh, I, I, I like to say that the COVID um, that came brought a lot of things out. Absolutely. Brought a lot of things out to Absolutely. show to the world mm -hmm. who the true believers in Christ are. Yeah. Who really appreciate what God has done for us. Amen. That Christ came, he left heaven's glory and came to lay down his life. For us. I mean, he left everything. Yeah. The angels were worshiping him, but he left it all. He came as a baby. And he grew as a carpenter's son. Yes. And then called his disciples. They were just ordinary fishermen. But then they were transformed after the resurrection of Christ, after Christ conquered death. Yeah. They were transformed. Yes. And they were asked to go out to the whole world. Yeah. Starting here from Jerusalem, Judea, Somalia, and to the uttermost part of the earth. Yes, yes. But that's what we are doing. That's what Emmanuel is doing. We have to obey the Lord. Yes. It is He we serve, yes. not ourselves. Yes, yes. Uh, I tell our people, God. Don't need us. Absolutely. You can work with others. Absolutely. Absolutely. You can raise up stones to praise Him. Absolutely. Right. Absolutely. So if people think that if they don't serve the Lord, that God will be helpless, then mm -hmm. they are in a completely different world. Yes. Yeah. They do not ask. We need God more than anything else. Yeah. Absolutely. We need Him every Absolutely. hour. Absolutely. Absolutely. For His protection. Yes. Yes. For His guidance. Yes. yes. For his blessings. The joy of the Lord is always our strength. Yeah. And so I have been sharing with uh, Christians since the pandemic that God wants us to be more of uh, his children who desire him more than anything else. Mm -hmm. And we do that through the studies of his word, which is the food for our soul. Yeah. Our food don't eat fish. Our soul don't eat fish, I mean. Our soul don't eat rice. Right. Our soul does not eat, uh, what is God? Hamburgers? Yeah, yeah. Steak. Our soul does not eat... Steak. Um, Steak. Uh, Steak. Steaks? No. Yeah, yeah. Our soul doesn't eat pizza. Yeah, it's the word of God. Yeah. The food for our soul is the word of God. Yes, yes, yes. 
So I told my people when the pandemic came and they said they were shutting down churches and the rest, I said, Christians, this is the time to feed your soul with God's word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Christ said, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word. Of the Lord. That's, uh, you see, our Lord himself was quoting from Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 3. Uh -huh. And in chapter 6 of John, mm -hmm. you see him echoing, I am the bread of life. Yes. I am the yes. bread of life. Yes. Yeah, 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 wow. And so we need the Lord to feed us. Mm -hmm. Not to go to the supermarket and go to all the grocery we think we can get. Even if they are out of the store, we can still leave. Yes, yes. The Lord fed the children of Israel for 40 days. Yeah, wow. 40 years. Absolutely. 40 yes. years. Absolutely. They didn't have a garden. They didn't have a, a little store, a supermarket to go buy from. He fed them. But he fed them. Yes. Wow. Can't he feed us in this time of crisis? Wow. Wow. Yeah. He will feed us. Wow. He will take care of us. Wow. But we need to pray. So turn with me now to the book of First uh, Timothy. And what I've been telling Christians is anything I tell you from God's word, anything I share with you, you know it already. But you know what I try to say? God said, remember, remember, remember. You know our problem? We are very forgetful. We forget all the things that God does for us. We do forget. Yeah. You know, in the last table, he said, do this. In for what? In remembrance of me. Because we forget. Yeah. We forget who the Lord is. Yeah. We forget the powers. We forget that he has power over death itself. Mm. Yes. So if you are running away from COVID, then you don't know the power of my God. Wow. Wow. Rise. Is the he that lived and died and now is alive forevermore. Mm. But that's by the way how we got our radio station name, Alive FM. Christ is alive. Yeah. We are serving a living Savior, yeah. not a dead Savior. Yeah. Yeah. And so nothing can conquer us. We are more than conquerors okay. through him that love us. Yeah. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Yeah. Christians, don't allow the world to intimidate you. Yeah. No. We have a greater God. Amazing. Creator of the universe. Yes. Sustainer of every life. Wow. Wow. Without him, we cannot live. Yeah. Without him, we have no hope. Mm -hmm. And so he encourages us here in his word. And I want you to read just the first two verses here in the first Timothy in chapter one and two. Bear with me, please. It says, uh, this is uh, the uh, Apostle Paul uh, writing to young Timothy. Uh, the book of Timothy and uh, the book of Titus, that first and second Timothy, Titus and uh, Leviticus are the only four books in the whole Bible written to leaders, mm -hmm. pastors, preachers, ministers of the gospel. Mm -hmm. And so if you look at the content, you see that he's directing them how to do the work for the Lord. Mm -hmm. And here the apostle Paul said, I exhort therefore that first, okay, first of all, supplication, prayers, mm -hmm. intercession, and giving of thanks be made for all men. Mm -hmm. Did you catch that? Mm -hmm. He said, supplication, prayers, mm -hmm. intercession, mm -hmm. and giving of thanks mm -hmm. be made for all men without distinction. So if you start with yourself, your family, your neighbors, your church, family, which is the assembly of God, members of this congregation, mm -hmm. members that are connected with this ministry, mm -hmm. and then we go to all preachers who are preaching the truth. Then we go to what? Missionaries, mm -hmm. leaders everywhere, 
Then we go to the head. You look at verse 2. Mm -hmm. For kings. Right, right. For all that were are in authority. So is that your president, your ministers, that is the congressmen, right? Mm -hmm. Senators, mm -hmm. governors, local or state uh, senators, state representatives. Uh -huh. You talk of the police officers. You talk of the soldiers at the candelis end, all those in authority. Then we go to doctors. Yeah. Then we go to teachers. Mm -hmm. uh, can you see where I'm going? Mm -hmm. wow. We pray for everybody. Wow. You know, if you start doing this, you might be on your knee. You cannot even get up. Wow, wow. Sometimes I meet Christians and say, I don't know what to pray for. Well, you come here, then this never ends. There are a lot of people to pray for. And, and so, you know, when the pandemic broke out, I told my people, I said, look, there is a passage in the Old Testament that echoed the same promise in the New Testament. God does wonders. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes Christ himself will tell us there's a lot of things that we can only do only by fasting and prayers. Right. He right, told us. Right, right, right. right. Several times. We must pray. We must cry to the Lord. It does not mean that our prayers will change God's mind. Right, right. But he, hear, he promised that if we pray, he will hear us. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Jeremiah 33, 3 said, Call unto me, yeah. and I will answer thee, mm -hmm. and show thee what? Great and mighty things, and mighty things which thou knowest not. Mm -hmm. God is a God who answers prayers. And so in the second chronicle chapter 7, mm -hmm. verse 13 and 14, mm -hmm. you know, Solomon made prayers. Solomon dedicated the temple then, which is called the house of God. Uh -huh. He dedicated it. And when he did that, then God answered his prayers immediately. That is what you find in chapter 7 verses 13 and 14. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm not going to keep long on this because I'm going to go back to the Timothy issue. Mm -hmm. So here is what he said. If you are with me, please look at Second Chronicles mm -hmm. chapter 7. Mm -hmm. Hold on, this my Bible. Now, what is here is that uh, Solomon was promised by God himself. Mm -hmm. God himself gave him an assurance that if he did something, something must be done. Mm -hmm. Okay, so be with me for a second. I'm a little bit slow here. He said, if I, that God speaking, this is Yahweh himself, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. If I shut the heavens, mm -hmm. that there is no rain, and if I command the locusts to devour the land, or if I send pestilence, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. Or oh, what a pestilence? Mm -hmm. We had a type of pestilence today. Mm -hmm. Coronavirus is a pestilence, okay? Among my people. Now, some people are arguing that this message here, mm -hmm. verse 14, if my people, mm -hmm. which are called by my name, mm -hmm. shall humble themselves mm -hmm. and pray mm -hmm. and seek my face yeah. and turn from their wicked ways, then, conditional, mm -hmm. then will I hear from heaven and will forgive their sins and will heal their land. Amen. Now, let me tell you something. There's a lot of Bible scholars that are saying that this promise here is not for us. Mm -hmm. That is for Israel. Mm -hmm. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know the problem I have with that? Mm -hmm. Who are God's people today? Church. Who are God's people today? Church. So, if we say this is for Israel, we are not going to obey this command here. Mm -hmm. Then, what are we saying? 
Are we going to say we believe some part of the Bible and some part apply to us and some part doesn't apply to us? Mm, mm, mm. Are we going to pick and choose which command, which revelation of God? And then I heard one preacher say, oh, but you know, the Ten Commandments is for Israel. We are not supposed to keep it today. I said, good, I hear you. Mm -hmm. But you know what Paul said mm -hmm. in Galatians? He said, the commandments are our schoolmaster. Mm -hmm. Teachers. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We are the Ten Commandments. Mm -hmm. We don't know our condition today as God's children. Mm -hmm. We really know how depraved, how hopeless, mm -hmm. how rebellious, how wicked we are. Mm -hmm. The commandments make that clear. And oh, by the way, Christ just gave us two, which is a summary of the ten. Right, right, right. right. Yeah, I think some Christians try to pick and choose which of God's commands they obey. And which one they would not. Mm -hmm. And I tell my people in Ghana, we cannot pick and choose. Right. The whole Bible. You remember what I told you when I was here? This book is called Bible. Mm -hmm. All right. I don't pick and choose which one I will use and which right. one I would not use. Mm -hmm. In fact, Paul would tell us that mm -hmm. the thing that happened in the Old Testament, mm -hmm. it was for our learning. Yeah. Yeah. They were written so that we would learn, so we don't do the same thing that they right, did. Right, 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 right. How we would know if we don't read the Old Testament right, right. and know what happened to our people there. Right, right. We are God people today, right, right. for Christ's sake. Right. And we need to know that this book, B I B L E, uh -huh. you know what it stands for? Uh -huh. Basic instruction before, before leaving the earth. Yeah. Right. That's the Bible. Yeah. I'm sure most of us have uh, what we call, you have cars, right? Mm -hmm. Maybe you have phones. Uh, these days, a lot of people have cell phones. Mm -hmm. When you bought your cell phone, God Almighty, who made those people, gave those talents to those people, they think they are their own talent. They're not. Uh -huh. God gave them talent uh -huh. to do that. Uh -huh. They gave you instruction manual, didn't right. they? Right, right, right. In fact, even if you buy a blender today, there's an instruction manual how to use it. Right. Uh, I think you'll be wise to use to go and read the instruction because if you don't, you mess up that product. Mm -hmm. True or false? Absolutely. True. Yeah. True. So here is God Almighty, mm -hmm. who has also given us an instruction manual mm -hmm. called the Bible, mm -hmm. the Word of God. It is for everybody on this planet Earth. If you don't read it, you will lose your way. In fact, when we're coming here, we have to have this, uh, what do you call this, the uh, road map, to uh, map quest and the rest. Yeah, yeah. And when they give you a direction, you better follow. <laughs> right or wrong. Right, right, right. right. You don't follow, right. you end up in a different place. Right. So, God Almighty has given us a chart to heaven. Uh -huh. How to get back to him. That's what this book is all about. Absolutely. And it guides us every step of the way. Absolutely. In the Old Testament, uh, in Proverbs, the wise man that ever lived, mm -hmm. Solomon said, train up the child in the way he should go. And when he's old, he will not depart from it. Mm -hmm. right. And brethren, we better train our children the way they must go. Mm -hmm. You better do it. You know, when the children arrive, they are like a computer. And if you have a computer that tells you garbage in, garbage out, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What you put in is what you get back. Mm -hmm. The children come with a blank mind, mm -hmm. but they are with a depraved body. They only came, arrive with a sinful body, want to do their own thing. Mm -hmm. When they come in, you've got to program these children and you know the instruction manual, that one. Right, right, right. If you don't use this to program the children and they grow up, they'll you regret. Absolutely, absolutely. If you let the world program the children for you, you want your heart to break. Yeah. Because they will tell them, oh, there's no God. That's the thing. Then you are old. You are your own this. But I read in his word, in Psalm 139, look at the thing that amazes me. Psalm 139, mm -hmm. I hope you are taking these uh, verses down, 
Read them. Remember. Remember. God keep on saying, remember. Don't forget. Psalm 139, we have some revealing information about ourselves. Here is what God said in verse number 14. I will praise thee for I have what? Fearfully and wonderfully made. Marvelous are thy works, and that my soul doeth right well. My substance were not hid from thee when I was made in what? Secret. And curiously, you know that I'm acting somebody working something curiously rough. Rough way. In the world. Lower part of the earth. Mm -hmm. Thy eye did see my substance, yet being unperfected. In thy book, all my members were written, which in countenance were fashioned, mm -hmm. when as yet there was none of them. Mm -hmm. You did. Maybe the pastor will take his time and go, but this is amazing. Mm -hmm. You mean my hair, every part of me, God wrote it in a book. You talk of oldest man, but you talk of a blueprint. Uh -huh. Every human being that arrived on this earth has a blueprint mm -hmm. for him. Yes. That's what this part, everything, every part of us is written in the book before we arrive. Where well, does that put those who believe in abortion? Mm -hmm. I asked the girls in there and I said, where does that put you? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If God has written every part of you before you were born, yeah. Yeah. then what are you doing? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Our life is not in our hands. Right, it's right, in God right, Almighty's right, right, right. And you know every part of you. Christ told them, he said, he said, the hairs of your head are even numbered. Absolutely. Hey. Absolutely. This, this is amazing. You know, when I think of the fact that God just spoke and everything okay, the planet, if you have done the, uh, biology mm -hmm. or some of the other subjects, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you've done science, mm -hmm. go to the site of NASA and see what they are doing, go to space. But all these things God just spoke and they came to be. Even the angels. But when it came to man on the six days, the Bible said, God just said, let us. Make. He didn't speak for us to appear. Mm -hmm. He took his hand, took a clay, yeah. more than clay, yeah. and it was still a clay, it was still a statue. Mm -hmm. Until God said, okay, now I'm going to put my own breath into it. And then when he did that, the Bible said, yeah, man became. Man became a living soul. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Brother, when, when, when I think of this, but God, mm -hmm. couldn't you have spoken for Adam to appear? Uh -huh, he could. You could have done that, couldn't he? Nope. But he did it. Mm -hmm. He took his own hands mm -hmm. and made man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's special. That's unique. Yeah. That's priceless. Mm -hmm. So when we rebel, now I can understand why God had to send his son to come and rescue mm -hmm. man that he has a special interest mm -hmm. in creating. Every artist values his work, doesn't they? Mm -hmm. Every artist. You as any artist, and then even the, the architect that draw buildings and plan for the buildings, they value their work. Mm -hmm. Don't man realize how for God values humanity? Wow. God values us. Mm -hmm. Hence, his son coming down to come and rescue us. Absolutely. Absolutely. Don't see yourself as nobody. Absolutely. Never. Absolutely. We are priceless. And so you have to send his son to come and rescue us. Absolutely. This is what excites some of us mm -hmm. to continue to proclaim 
his living word. We are here to be prepared to go back home. Yeah. This yeah. world is not our home. Yeah. Yeah. We are just passing through. Yeah. And he has given us a guidebook to lead us day by day until we get back. Yeah. Christ said, I'm going to prepare a place for you. Yes. When I finish, I'll come back again. Yes. That where I am, yeah. there you will be. Lord, and he has been preparing that. It blows my mind. My little mind cannot understand. How he created a whole vast universe for six days, wow. and then Christ has gone over 2,000 years now preparing a place for me? Wow. Hey, wow. how can that be? Wow. Wow. So you see, when man that he created begin to rebel, mm. it breaks God's heart. Wow. And he has to send some things to us to try to wake us up. All right. But then we still become out of what do we want God to do? Just leave it like that? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You go and ask Sodom and Gomorrah? Wow. Today, wow. Sodom and Gomorrah, wow. according to the archaeologists, is under the Dead Sea. Mm. Wow. God had to send fire wow. to burn them up. Wow. It's breaking his heart. Mm. Didn't he do that in time of Noah? I said, oh, man, that have a freedom. How do you live it like this? Mm. I have to just get them out. Yeah. And create a new one. Yeah. Mm. And he saved Noah and his family. Yeah. That's why you and I are here today. Yeah, yeah. Noah found grace. Yes. Yeah. And I always say, I find grace too. Yes, yeah. If you ask me my testimony of my background, my parents were not Christians. But there was something God did that up to today I did not understand. Only I knew that he is sovereign. God is sovereign. In our culture, a lady, it's not, it's changing today. A lady cannot challenge his husband. You know, can't challenge your husband. No, I have no right to. Wow. But my mommy challenged my father. Mm. She wanted me to go to school out of nine children. Mm. He wanted me alone to go to school. My father said no. It was a contention, and my uncle had to come in and take me. And my mommy said, if you are taking him away, make sure he go to school. Wow, wow, wow. And then, my uncle said, I would. And then he sent me into a Methodist school. You know what they were doing? They were teaching Bible there as basics in the school. Wow. Back then in the 50s. Wow. The Bible was one of the major textbooks. Wow. Wow. And God prepared me until I got to a stage. My mommy passed away, my daddy passed away. And I said, oh, the church is not teaching Bible. I'm not going to church anymore. Mm. And then God made me buy a radio when I started working. And I had the day, that Sunday, I said I wasn't going to work, uh, to church on Sunday morning. That was the day God sent back to the Bible preacher through a radio wow. to save me. Wow. Does God know what he's doing? Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. And then he led me all the way to come here for four years, leaving my wife behind. Wow. After 10 days of marriage. Wow. Not be able to see her again until eight and a half years later. Wow. Wow. But then he gave us two children. Wow. Now we got a grandson. Wow. And the first thing I told the wow. grandson is, you are going to stand in my shoes. You are going to preach the word. And I started giving him the word already wow. from the one. Wow. Train up the child the way he should go. Yeah. When he's old, he won't depart. Yeah. And what is the way? Yeah. Christ is the way. Christ said, I am the way, yeah. the truth, yeah. and the life. No wow. man cometh unto wow. the Father by, by me. Yeah. So when the Old Testament says, train up the child the way he should go, the way is Christ. Yeah. He is the way. We train our children in Christ's way. Yeah. And when you do that, you never regret. Amen. You give glory to him. Amen. So God is at work. Amen. Thank you for your support, for your prayers. You. There's a lot I would like to share, but please, prayers is key. In this time where people are running away, this is the time God's children have to run to God's house 
as an assembly of believers yes. and pray and pray for each other yes. and pray for our world. Yes, yes. Christ is coming. Yes. Whether they like it or not, it's coming. Yes. And we must warn the world. Yes. Otherwise, you hold us responsible. Yes. We are his mouthpiece. We are his ambassadors. Let us warn the world. Amen. Let us remind ourselves of what he has given to us, precious work. Amen. And so we thank you for your support. There's a lot we are doing uh, this year. We are planning to roof five churches who have no place to worship. The people who have been worshiping on a tree, sometimes when it rains, they cannot. So whatever the Lord laid on your heart, that's the need. We want to send supply to Ghana. You want to help us send the supply? Last two years, it cost us 5,000. Now the shipping company have doubled, as you said, 10,000 before we can send things over. Amen. Things have changed. But our God has not changed, has he? Yes, yes. He's yes. the same yesterday, today. today, and forever. Yes. Let's give him the glory. Amen. Let's praise his name. Yes. Let's stand and hold each other's hand. Like when Moses was praying on the mountain, yes. El and Hall has to hold his hand. Yes. And yes. victory. Yes. Prayer. Yes. Let's hold each other's hand as we travel to glory land. Amen. And I have a song. That's good. Pama she sadi pampale ke ya shi bele mi di mana yomo u papa ye nu bi pli le no. Luchowa, Luchowa, the Benegbi, Benegbi, the Masha, oh, Sunday, the man, the papa, yeah, do be the no. Luchowa, Luchowa, the Benegbi, Benegbi, the Masha, oh, Sunday, the man. It is the prayers that God will help me to proclaim his faithful word unto death. Yeah. Until I get to glory. Yeah. Yeah. So that he will say, Well done. Yeah. How good and faithful seven. Yeah. They give me the prize, the reward. Yeah. Faithful. Yeah. Faithfulness. Yeah. Not great, not popular, not rich, not anything. Faith. But faithful yeah. to the end. Yeah. May God bless all of us. May God bless Emmanuel and Pastor uh, Webster, the ministry here. And let us be faithful to him. Yes. For the end. Yes. To God be the glory. Amen. 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 Come on, y'all. Let's get past the cross here. On the fount of every blessing. My heart to sing thy grace Streams of mercy never ceasing Call for songs of loudest praise Teach me some melodious sonnet Sung by flaming tongues above
Waiting Him, still He is waiting, waiting the penitent child to receive. Plead with them earnestly, plead with them gently, He will forgive. Feelings vibrate.